Good morning, sixth grade. Kind of a little delay there on the start, but I wanted to, I'm kind of on my own this, for this spelling video because Cassie's not here to help me with the videotaping. So, but anyway, um, we're on lesson 34 pay, in the spelling on page 133 and 135. You're just going to have the two pages for this week and then your words, of course, three times each that will be due on uh, Friday in the chat time. And then the reason also two pages is you need to start getting your vocabulary together. And so the vocabulary words, any vocabulary words from this point to the last vocabulary test is fair game. And we'll go through that in chat group to clarify, but you need to get the definitions out and ready to go because next week you will have your vocabulary test. And I will be going through those with you again in your chat group throughout this week. So let's go ahead and go through this on the pattern words for lesson 34. Little difficult pronunciation on some of them, and then we'll just kind of move forward. It, it's not really difficult, but at the same time, they're just throwing these foreign language words at you, and that's just the design of the book. So anyway, let's go through it. The first one, we have diesel. We have seltzer, strudel, pretzel, uh, Edelweiss, liverwurst, Gesundheit, sauerkraut, hamburger, frankfurter, delicatessen, and pumpernickel. The two that might be, catch you a little bit off are the words of uh, Gesundheit and Edelweiss. Edelweiss being a plant. Sour, or excuse me, Gesundheit meaning when you sneeze. And I've used that quite often. Whenever somebody sneezes, I'll always say Gesundheit. And some people say bless you. I say Gesundheit. So it's just, just how you're, however you're brought up. Well, let's go ahead and look at the assignment for the first page here. And we have on the first one, we have many words in the English language originally came from the German language. Knowledge of word origins help in building spelling and vocabulary skills. So write the pattern word to complete each exercise. So we're in the pattern words for this. Sort the words by the number of syllables. So you have words one through four are two syllable, five through 10 are three syllable, number 11 is a four syllable and 12 is a five syllable. And again, please write them in alphabetical order. That way you won't miss them as far as when you find the correct words. If you get them out of order, then they mark it wrong, and then you wonder why it's wrong. So alphabetical order is the best choice. So they're like the first one we're going to do. If you take a look, if I slide this over just a little bit, so we can see the word list as well. The first two-syllable word, we have the word diesel. D-I-E-S-E-L. All right, and then if we go down for the other part, where for five to 10, a three syllable word, we're gonna give you the word Edelweiss. Edelweiss is how it's pronounced. So we're gonna go E, D, E, L, W, E, I, S, S, Edelweiss. And again, these are all the words. These are the one through four are your two syllable. Your five through 10 are three syllable, and then number 11 is a four, 12 is a five syllable. All right, moving forward. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rest, the next section. Next section is your content words. And again, these are content words only, not, not the pattern words. So again, if I, take, if I clean up my other two words from, from the above part, I have, you have the first letter given to you, which is G, and it says arrows are made of aluminum or carbon, which is the word graphite. And I want you to re write it out on the computer using the complete wording. Don't just give me the R-A-P-H-I-T-E. In the spelling book, when you do your book, do the work of your book first, that please, yes, you can use the G that gives you. But as far as the, type out the whole word, always on the computer. So graphite is the first one. All right, then, after we get done with graphite, you have the next one. And again, I'm not going to go give you any of the further ones because, that, like I said, you will need to use your dictionary potentially. It will help you when looking up some of those other words. Let's take a look at the next section, page, next page, 134. All right, we have vocabulary words coming on. And let me grab my 
racer here. All right, with that, we have the vocabulary words and the vocabulary words for this week that we need to take care of to do will be the first word is, again, writing them in this order, generation. Next word, we have regenerate. And then we have exposition. And then we have proposition. Okay? There's your four vocabulary words. And again, following the same pattern, the, first, the next section covers the definition. And then the next section covers the words, how they're used in a sentence. And again, you'll need to use your spelling dictionary in the back. So that pretty much does it for spelling for this week. Um, if you have questions, feel free to chat me or give me a call. Um, try to finish strong this last, because I know some of the some of you or some of your grades are not going like they normally do. And I'm getting fewer questions. I know you're tired and I know you're ready for the end of the year. And this has been a tough way to go for the last quarter. But hang in there, keep working, keep working hard and trying hard. Okay, have a great afternoon. We'll talk to you later.